Good evening, Zan. <laughs> what are you doing? You camping on that host button or what? Oh, hell. I'll just go ahead and switch on over. <laughs> That's why I was so slow. Why was you so slow? You were playing War Thunder at the same time. Ah. Well, it's still pretty damn fast to be playing War Thunder and then, I guess, tab over and uh, get a host in. All right, <clears throat> let me just make all my posts. That's usually what I do whenever the starting screen is up. As I go through, I'll make all my posts. I get them ready. I get them pre-made and ready to go. I'll just go through and post everything. All right. <clears throat> Hello there, to uh, to go. How's it going? The benefit of two screens, yeah. Welcome in. Good evening. I hope you're doing well. Oh, while well, I'm thinking about it, I still haven't added the songs, the recent songs that were. Uh... We'll do that. <clears throat> uh... You just deleted all your videos. Someone told you you could get banned from Twitch? Uh, depends on what you were doing, I guess. The music was known copyright. You still got muted. Mm. Mozzie, welcome in. Thank you very much for the resub. 20 month resub. Good evening, good evening. Mozzie is uh, coming in like a boss. Dropping that resub. And then casually saying. Yeah. Right, I'm a bit early. Um, Yeah. Thanks for doing the shout out there, uh, Rescue. Welcome in as well. The VODs are always muted. Yeah, the VODs are always muted. Um... I mean, there you can get copyright strikes, and after the third strike, I guess they ban your account or whatever. Um, the reason I'm still playing copyright music is um, because I've got it set up to where. Uh, it doesn't show up on the VODs. Or it doesn't, you don't hear it on the VODs. No worries, Rescue, no worries. Thank you very much for the host, by the way, Rescue. Oh, damn, Zan, there's another one coming in, Larissa. Uh, tier 3. With a big Tier 3 sub, Mr. Violent Zan. Well, violent angle Zan now. I generally just tend to say just Zan. Oh, 
Uh, you got a gifted sub last night. Yeah, um, Australian Steve came in last night, or not last night, but Tuesday night, and dropped 30 gifted subs to the channel. He went crazy with the subs. Unbelievable. 31, 30 gifted subs. Oh, crap. I'm about to make a mistake. Um, there we go. You grab those links both uh, for both of those guys there. Red Mozzie and Violent Zan, both coming in uh, with resubs. Now I've done two of those. Uh, Red Mozzie being an IRL and Rocksmith streamer playing uh, playing the bass, doing some awesome streams with Rocksmith, and he's he's got some real good um, IRL streams that he's done here recently as well. My God, how many songs are there? I'll do the rest later. And then we have Violent Angles in. <clears throat> he likes to um, change his name a lot. We'll see if he's done now. So you'll, uh, you'll most likely catch... Um, Zan doing some, uh, it does jump in and do some truck and he does a lot of drifting in um, a couple different games. Playing War Thunder at the moment. There's some of the stuff that you guys are interested in. Make sure to check them out. Check them out. IRL, Rocksmith, War Thunder. Actually, he was last seen doing Duolingo. Uh, trucks. Mozzie does trucks from now and now, every now and then. I don't know how much is going to be streamed anymore. Um, those of us that do still do trucks and trucking streams, he does hop in and drive with us from time to time. All right. Uh, I'm going to be doing more World of Trucks. And more world of trucks or popping in the Ford F Max as I want to drive that tonight. Oh, that'll be good. Thank you very much for the host, Richard. Anybody catch the SAS uh, stream today? They had Boss Matt World on there tonight. Mm, I was kind of in the mood for some um, Secret and Whisper and Sleep Wave tonight. So um, you'll probably notice a lot of the songs sound familiar tonight. <clears throat> Two absolute terrific bands that unfortunately didn't really pan out too much. Um, Secret and Whispers currently playing. They only did two albums, and then you didn't hear anything from them anymore. Then there's some. Uh, there's going to be some Sleep Wave in there tonight as well. They only did one album, and I, you know what? They're I ranked them just a notch under Tool, and Tool is like my number one favorite. Can't believe they didn't do any more music than just one album. Sad, really. Gabber coming in with a host. Thank you very much. Welcome in, James D Gaming. Here's my F Max. 
What color do I have it? Is it still black or? I don't know, it's blue. Let's drive it. How's Gabber and James D Gaming doing tonight? James D coming in with the host, appreciate it. Oh crap. I don't know why this thing always starts like it pulled right turn. Oh, they're done. They were done a long time ago. <laughs> oh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Hell, I've been sneezing all day. Looks nice, but you never buy one. Am I driving to Canada to do a protest drive? What? What? What kind of protest drive? Corona. I'm in the stream and you sneeze. I don't know. It almost makes you think it's you, Red Eye. That's, uh, you're not watching the news, are you? No, I'm not watching. I, you know what? Uh, Canadian convoy of 1,500 trucks. 15,000 trucks. I, um... Drive Scani and Daff. I do too. I drive Scania's and Daffs. I don't even remember the last time I've even looked at a TV, or what, or looked at any news or anything, even on the computer or my mobile. They already raised more than five million dollars. So I'm like, I'm like totally cut off from the world. Basically. Oh, wow. Hell, hell, let's do it. <clears throat> I need to do some miles so I can get this dang longest journey thing cut out. Or, uh, you haven't had cable in like seven years. Sean uploaded a bit about it. Hmm. Is that why I've been seeing the, um, uh, there's some sort of hashtag about a convoy that's been suggested a lot. Is that probably why? Convoy for freedom or something, I think is the hashtag. Like whenever I'm doing my Twitter posts and I, and I put in like hashtag convoy, there's like, oh, okay. Hey, Grudge, how's it going? Welcome in. They're boycotting against the vaccine and crossing borders. Well, they don't want American trucks coming to Canada and they don't want Canadian trucks going to America, or? You know what it's it for me it's it's so weird when people say vax because it means a totally different thing in Swedish. Proceeds. Vaxed or vexed. Uh, well, 
when you say vaxxed, that means you like you've you've waxed. Uh, it basically just means wax, but when you say when you say it like vaxxed, it, it means that you've you've waxed something, like you've taken away hair with wax, but I'll leave your imagination up to where. It could be anywhere really, but the M20 is basically a truck car park at the moment. Yeah, well, I see, the thing is about the vaccine is generally whenever you think of a vaccine, it's like you get the you get the shot and then you're good against whatever that vaccine is for for like a certain amount of time. You know? But this one is kind of different. It's kind of funny because it's like, well, you need to get the vaccine and then you need to get a second shot and then you need to get a booster. But you can still get sick and you still can make other people sick. And it's kind of like, okay. So we're taking all this we're pumping all this shit into our body just so that we may not get seriously ill. That's the only reason. My ex only got two shots and is now fighting for her life in the hospital. I've heard, yeah, I've heard some people are even uh, getting sick from the vaccine, you know, like seriously ill. Yeah, we have um, we have a we have a girl at at work that's sick right now with COVID, uh, fully vaccinated, and she's fighting COVID for the second time already. Back with cheese and mayo sandwiches. And tea. A lot more people will get ill with no vaccine than getting the vaccine. I think I don't think it's it's there's still the same amount of people getting sick. It's just reducing the risk of you being severely ill is all it's doing. It's not preventing people from getting sick. It's just helping people to keep from being seriously ill. It's just like any other medicine. You know, I, a lot of your medicines come with the risk that it's actually going to hurt you more than it helps. And, you know, the vaccine is not any different. So. It's understandable. I think, it, I think it's only natural that, you know, that some people are getting sick because of the vaccine. We're talking about medicines that's been in use for entries, you know, and they don't take them off the market or they don't stop using them just because some people are getting seriously ill from it. Um, society really has, you know, all this about sanitiz sanitization and, um, Everybody always stressing, you know, us always uh, taking so many medicines to prevent stuff, and and you know we we're, we're living in 
like a cleaner uh, indoor environment. We're not we're not exposing ourselves to these th these things, you know, like we used to before we had all these medicines and vaccines, and it's our immune system is um, it's like is actually being weakened because of it. Smoking kills people, still do it, yeah. Mm. <laughs> now, you're not immune from a new virus, but... It's like whenever you take away, like, all the bacterias and viruses and stuff, your your body doesn't have to like it's kind of like training it's kind of like it's kind of like going to the gym and doing training your immune system needs to train against fighting off stuff and if it's not getting that training it needs to fight off different bacteria and viruses and stuff then it's going to get weak No, I'm not vaccinated. Oh yeah, everybody's gonna be different. It's gonna be it's all whatever however uh, like however serious you get ill or um, how often you get sick or ill it it's it's all individual. I mean, as long as everybody can stay, like, as long as it doesn't get heated, I guess. As long as everybody's able to express their opinions and then and not get it pushed back in their face, then. I know a lot of a lot of people, especially like politics and religion. A lot of people avoid it because those are those are two subjects can get can get real easily heated. It doesn't take much. Hey there, PC gaming, doing pretty good. How about yourself. But uh, if you don't feel empathy for people who haven't gotten vaccinated, what about the people that have gotten vaccinated and are still mortally ill in the hospital? How do you feel for them? I think trying is preventing from yourself getting sick instead of taking a shot. I 
I've been in a warehouse working around people, uh, five of which had COVID. Uh, I'm working in an office where three of which have had COVID. Uh, I've been in a house full of a household, the whole household, my wife and two kids were all three sick with COVID, which she's now my ex, but, and I still haven't gotten it. Um, some may say it's luck. Some may say I have an awesome immune system or I believe it just boils down to taking the right precautions instead of, you know, ignoring what um, are anything getting it behind getting behind the wheel of a car is playing Russian roulette you have a better chance of dying in a car accident than catching COVID so it's yeah I mean So like we, you know, I've, I followed all the recommendations from the health department that they, they lay out, so. Yeah, well, I mean, but like, my way of taking care of myself is also individual. You have to remember that just like our opinions it's all individual I took care of myself by taking the right precautions when around people that have COVID instead of taking a vaccine <laughs> you carry a gun everyone stays more than six feet away Do you have like an open carry license for a pistol or? What are they doing? Is it Russia messing around with Ukraine again or what? What's going on with the Ukraine?
Yeah, Bert, thank you very much for the alert. Appreciate it. Uh, Porto Vecchio, or Le Vecchio, I don't know how they say it. Another 2,000, well, there is a ferry in the, on the, along the way as well. well. I don't know how exactly how far it is, but 2,000 kilometers, I guess. I do like doing the long ones. I can thank Gabber for that. It was his fault. I know he's lurking, but Casey's still listening. Because I used to just like jump around and take whatever I felt like. And, um,. Yeah, I hashtag blame Gabber on this one. And then um, it was like after I met Gabber and started trucking with him, it was like from one one side of the map all the way to the other, and then you get to that side and it's like one that side of the map all the way back to the other. <laughs> so it kind of just like grew on me. But now I just. Some days I might do real long jobs. I'll do long jobs all day, but then other days I'll just do, I don't know, around a thousand, thousand five hundred kilometers. Phantom, how's it going? Need to get these world of trucks jobs, man. It's, I'm up to 817,000 kilometers. Done 1,011 world of trucks jobs. All right, no worries, Mozzie, no worries. will suck the battery out of a telephone. That one I was using for the face cam, when I drove a truck, I had to keep on the charger constantly all day. And even then, it would, it would still lose charge, but not fast enough. Or it would go dead during the stream, but... It would be under 50% anyways. Surprised that dang telephone didn't explode.
Because I was, I had it on the phone battery suck. Well, I had it on the, uh, oh yeah, we've moved on. Um, see, what it was is I was using a GoPro for the, the forward facing cam, but then I was using a mobile phone as the face cam. And all the streams were, you know, anywhere from like 10 to 12, sometimes 14 hours. So the telephone would be on the charger all day, constantly with it streaming video, you know, five days a week. And it was just like, I don't know. I don't see how that, that, that telephone battery didn't start boiling. Not very light, yeah. You go get it replaced, you know, even if it's not one of those that you can take out. I don't know how much it costs, but I know people have gone and gotten theirs replaced. Uh, when's Gabber going to go trucking next? I'd imagine I'm probably wearing my iPhone battery down the way that I'm using it right now. As I keep it, whenever I stream, I'm using that for the, uh, the eye and head tracking, so. It's always, well, I use the US, it's plugged into the PC by USB because it's the best um, it works on Wi-Fi but having it in the USB connection it, you get the best uh, tracking quality hello there Maylander how's it going welcome in and then like I'm using it pretty much most of the day um mining coin and stuff so Scania I want one of those trailers for my Scania That's the way they look. The ones that they, um, uh, the trucks that drive internally for Scania around the factory, and I don't know if they actually drive between factories or whatever, or different, uh, like part suppliers or whatever, but all the internal trucks, that's the trailer that they pull. It looks just like that. I don't think they've got the red line on them anymore. It just says Scani on the back and on the side.
they even got like coaches that go and pick their workers up too you'll see them running around just plain white buses that'll have scony on the side of them um because the factory is down in southern Italia, it's a it's a little ways to drive you know south of town there's a lot of people that um boss matt world thank you very much for the host so there's a lot of people that actually live in town or probably like on the uh, the uh, the northern part of town so they got different spots around town that uh, the Scania workers can go to and uh, jump on the coach that take that'll take them down to work so they don't have to drive their you know cars long distances or take public transport to get to work They, can't, they I guess they take care of their peeps there. How's Boss Matt World doing today? How'd the stream go? Hope it went well. Hope you had a good time. I know you didn't stream. But you were on a stream tonight, though, weren't you? I was in lurking for a little bit while I was at work, and, uh... Uh... I had it on, in, like, through the car audio and was listening to it on my way home. Always nerve-wracking. It can be a bit intimidating because, you know, there's quite a lot of people that watch. I think there was over 300 watching on Twitch, and then you probably got... I think there's actually more people that watch it on Steam and YouTube than Twitch. I'm not sure. Steam is actually kind of odd because I see a lot of streams on Steam that have a ton of viewers and you basically don't have any type of streaming tools whatsoever and it's just like he was floating the whole convoy. Well, thank you very much for the honorable mention. I did hear that. through this last one no no it cuts off oh I should have stayed just to the left then because they were all going through the right side of them. What is going on with the bridge? It's funky. I've never seen it do that before. I hope that's not my computer doing that. you telling the story about 
why you got back into ETS 2 as well. it off because I was driving and I just wanted to hear the SES stream really but are you serious rescue Easy trucker. So even though she was there previously as EMP support, he's got to go back through the trial. Oh man. Hey there, boss lady. How's it going? Long time no see. How you been doing? My God, I would, I would have, I would, I would have just turned around and left again. Then if it was me. How long? How long was she support before, beforehand, like previously? I guess is what I'm trying to say. Previously. A long time and still got to go through trial. Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries, man. Jesus Christ. Nah, I would have been like, what? I gotta do trial again? Okay, bye. able to get to spend time with the uh with the grandkids is just as precious as whenever you had your own kids at home because you want to treat the grandkids just like your own kids but then you don't get that you don't get that much time with them you don't get that uh that full time attention with them like you did with your own kids so grandkid time is precious There he is, Mr. Nor Andrews Nor, coming in. Been doing some trucking today. ETS 2. What were we getting up to in ETS 2, Andrews? Thank you very much for the raid. Half left. What did I miss? A link for Mr. Nor Anders Nor, Sim Trucker, uh, also a flight Sim pilot.
always coming in with the raids here at Nightmare NC. Big supporter of the channel. Driving the Hover, Deborah can. The excavator. Ooh, the Volvo one too. We're carrying a big old boat, a yacht, I guess, or I don't know, it's a sailboat maybe actually. I don't know. I guess it's a sailboat. The Sloop 36. Taking this thing from Stockholm down to um, Porto Vecchio. Pulling it behind that Ford F Max today. I wish you could have the option to have the uh, the highlight behind the F Max in the same blue color as the Ford emblem. Just to have it light a little bit more uniform. I love the lighting on that blue emblem though. Uh, he was calling her Ellie, but not getting much of a response. Well, precious, and boy, do I get a smile out of her. Oh, that's nice. Elizabeth. That's why you call her Ellie. Ah, oh, okay, I got you. Evan. Not a usual name, Devin is, is it? <laughs> hey there, Shawnee. Hey there, Kirk. How's it going? No, nah, I don't ever drive a manual. I don't have a shifter, so. Yeah, it's, um. It's actually on the Steam Workshop, Kirk, if you don't have it. And it's it's a real solid mod. Just to be offered up for free. Oh, you have driven it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really nice. They did. They they. I think they've paired it together with some good engine sounds as well. I want to say that I've seen the, the guys that made this. I think they've done some other stuff. I think they've got a, a bus as well, if I'm not mistaken. I would have to double check. I'm pretty sure it's the same same group of people i think it's a group of turkish guys i don't know i don't think it's just one person oh drinking never uh is never a good idea with these things it interferes with them which is understandable because you're blocking your face There's a bus mod I use for um, 
the uh, Truckee route manager. <clears throat> it was real nice, a real solid bus mod. Had a lot of options in it. Use a straw. I guess I could. I don't reckon I've ever drank coffee with a straw, though. It's always the first time for everything. Afghanistan. What map was that? Yeah. Well, see, I did that for a while until the first update. <laughs> you have to use a straw for hot chocolate? Yeah. I see, I did, I did do that in there a while back until the first update came out and then the mods weren't, or the map mods, you know, have to be updated as well. <laughs> so I was just like, <laughs> You know what, I can't be asked to, to downgrade or wait for updates for all these maps, so I just ripped everything out. Sometimes the AI breaks. Not much of a coffee drinker. See, I never did drink coffee until like seven or eight years after living in Sweden. There's an update you change profile. Yeah, well, I did do that for like multiplayer and single player, but then I, I, I'm real picky about like my mileage, my truck mileage, and uh, like my profile level. I hated that. I hated doing one profile and then, you know, getting it progressed further and then having to jump back to the other profile. It felt like I kept, it felt like I kept, you know, going two steps forward and one step back. You know what I mean? A liter of coffee a day? Oh my God. No, I just mean like profile level, you know, and your truck mileage. I know I don't really care about like the miles that I, the, the miles that you do on trucks books is, it, it's, it's just for your account. It doesn't matter which profile you use. Yeah, well, I can understand that if it's a new profile, but so what, I, what I've been doing is, is like whenever I switch, I only got two profiles for, for ETS2. So what I've been doing is whenever I progress one of them further, before I play the other one, I would just copy it over and paste it in and then rename the profile uh, file. And I would keep that progression. Yeah, out, car. I had my damn blinker on. You had plenty of time to slow down. Um. 
because of this this profile progression has been ongoing for oh lord i know i had one i know i i know it's not my original profile because way back like probably in like 2013 2014 Somewhere around there, I ended up losing my first profile because it got corrupt from switching back and forth. The single player, multiplayer. I think it was 2014. I don't know. It was. It wasn't long after TMP came out, I believe. Maybe 2016. I'm not sure. Grand Utopia is better than this, like the vanilla map is. It's a one to one scale, too, isn't it? I would like to see some one-to-one -one scales of like I know there's some out there I just uh because I know there's a there's a guy by the name of simulator he's a Norwegian streamer he does a lot of the uh he does a lot of custom maps uh, like Grand Utopia and Majo or however you, or whatever it's called uh, he does the, he, that's what he mainly what he does he does the high scale maps that are anywhere from like one to one or one to five I would like to see some more one to one scale maps of some IRL places If I had the time and the knowledge, I would start working on a one-to-one -one scale map of Sweden and, you know, maybe start with Stockholm and, uh, and work toward, work, you know, work from there. But, yeah, you would only be doing, you know, like, I think the max you would do in like a day is like a 600 kilometer job you know because you're one 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 kilometer in the game is going to be one real kilometer never tried it i haven't even heard of it f1 thank you very much for the uh, follow and welcome into the channel What's the default map scale? Um, it's either 1 to 19 or 1 to 20, I believe. Some even say 1 to 18, but I don't know. Westland 34 TV come in with a resub. Very much appreciated. Welcome in. Hope you're doing good. I haven't seen you in a bit. Ah. As you guys, thank you very much for the uh, the shout out there, Gabber. There's your link for Westland 34 TV. We'll gonna go check them out. Drop them a follow. Follows are free. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. And Thirsty, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. ATS is 120, ETS is 1 to 19. Okay, there we go. 
was thinking it was something like that. And here comes Mo Pose. Hey there, Mo Does. Welcome in. Pepsi Coke or Dr. Pepper? Can you get that set up, Gabber, or do you want me to uh, want me to do it? Ford F Max is the best truck. It's pretty damn good, I'm telling you. Uh, Mo, she uh, come in to redeem her daily poll, I guess. Which do we prefer, Pepsi Coke or Dr. Pepper? Mo needs to change her name to Mo Pole, yep. I don't know, some people would probably say stripper pole, but We'll settle for a, uh, a regular poll for now. Uh, question of which do you prefer, I guess, and then the options are Pepsi, Coke, or Dr. Pepper. Your friend drives a truck, it's really very good. Are we talking about ETS or IRL? Love this Ford, been driving the RGL Scania T4 Series workshop mod lately. Thirsty, you need to go check out N.O. Gabber N.L. then, because he loves the, uh, the RGL Scanias. Those are his babies. You notice in ATS, one hour drive, it takes longer than ETS. Thank you very much, Zan. Zan needs a shout out too, as well, unless I've missed it. Didn't you just, wasn't it you that just gifted Gabra a sub? Pepsi Coke. Uh oh, what happened? I can't see the options. Pepsi, Coke, or Dr. Pepper? Pepper all day. Technically, Pepsi is cola, right? Hey, well, I mean, it used to be called Pepsi Cola before they just changed it to Pepsi. Evidently, it used to be called Brad's Drink, too, back in the day whenever it was originated. We learned that in another stream. Ah. So Pepsi and Coke are trying to team up on Dr. Pepper, huh? See how it is. I see how it is. Education with Nightmare SC, yeah. But we all know who the OG soda is though, right? I think we got edumacated on that one stream as well. Anybody forgot? Slammer's energy. RC Cola? I don't know if it was older than... 
Dr. Pepper. Google it, Mo. When was RC Cola created? That's a lot of emotes. I'm not in convoy. Well, even Dr. Pepper's older than Coke. By one year. Yeah, it is. <laughs> The hell is Moxie? Root beer. Yeah, root beer would probably be my number two soda. It would be Dr. Pepper, then root beer. Schweppes. Oh my word. What is Violent Xan up to now? Thank you very much for the purchase of the Stream Loops packs by our Violent Xan. Appreciate it. What are you going on about, Modos? What is Moxie? <laughs> you need to, you're slacking then, Google. I don't know, I Googled Oda Solda. Uh, when was Moxie created then? I would have thought it would have been something like sarsaparilla, but because I think that was supposed to be out like during the Wild West days or whatever. It was a cowboy drink. Swifts. Or was it Swifts that made Moxie or something? Not really, no. They're very similar, but... I think root beer did derive from sarsaparilla, like a sarsaparilla recipe or something, but... Swepps is widely considered the oldest soda in the world. The company's founder, first person to manufacture and sell carbonated mineral water. Yeah, but carbonated mineral water is not soda. the flavoring in make the next oh shit make the next right yeah it comes from like yeah sarsaparilla is actually a uh, plant I think it uses the, uh...
it either uses the root or the bark or somehow it gets the flavoring from the sarsaparilla plant from what I understand anyways is the next right and technically that's a right too but that only goes into the rest area that would be no fun just drive in and out of the rest area an exit oh, yeah, this is a legitimate exit all right let's go looks like we're heading to Dortmund instead It was actually a truck coming up there. Hardly ever see any cars going up that way. Pepsi Coke. My pressure. Pepsi won with five votes against four for Dr. Pepper. How many voted for Coke, though, really? Wholeheartedly. <laughs> so now we need to do a split of Coke or Pepsi and see which one would win. Probably Coke. Yeah, but that's like three hours in game time though, isn't it? count <laughs> me and Moe's got something cooking up for you guys um, I was I meant I actually meant to send you a private message today Mo to go just to recap what we've already planned really and to see what else we needed to do I got busy at work. I actually got busy at work today, believe it or not. You'll just have to wait and find out. And why were, aren't we invited? Oh, it's a secret for now. I'm just letting you guys know we got something cooking that's going to involve both my community and Modo's community. So, I think it'll be a lot of fun.
RC Cola. Can you even buy RC Cola anymore? Thanks for making me drive these extra kilometers, Zan, because these are not going to count since it's a world of trucks job. We're moving in with each other? Not quite. I, did, I don't know um, if Jimmy would approve of that. They sell RC Cola at Select Store. Wait, there's no Dr. Pepper now? No, you don't need to buy a game for it. Refund. <laughs> James wanted to do the, um, to redo the, the Pepsi, Coke, and Dr. Pepper uh, vote. That's a match of fork knife from the two communities against each other. That's also an idea. I don't know if anybody over at Moe's community actually does uh, does Fortnite though. Cube stream, or do you mean tub stream? Oh, did somebody actually redeem this one? I must have missed it. Tarkov? Hell no. <laughs> Excellent. You can always do um, the Hunter Call of the Wild. Drifting. I can do donuts, I can't drift. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I can't drift on Forza. The Hunter Call of the Wild would be a good one. Um, because there, you can actually set up, um, you can actually set up like many competitions on a server. I think you can even divide the people that's connected to the server into teams as well. If I'm not mistaken. I believe they did it just like, well, not exactly like Hunter Classic, but I think it's very similar to, to the Hunter Classic. You know what? People ask me that all the time and I can never remember what the actual model is. It's a Seinhauser. Actually, I think the model name is... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, GSP 600.
and leaves. Yeah, GSP 600. The microphone on it is really, really good too. If you don't have an external mic and you plan on getting a headset. Because um, I actually used to use the external microphone on the headset before I got a, a, mi a USB microphone. And um, a lot of people, a lot of people came in and um, actually complimented the, you know, the way that the microphone on the headset itself sounds. When are we doing business about the old school Toby? It's only the 4C that I have. I don't know how much you would want it. It's... People say the 5 is better, but I don't know. I would hope that it's been improved since the 4C. Otherwise, people are just wasting their money. Because uh, the 4C was basically just the guinea pig for the introduction of uh, eye tracking as well as head tracking. It was the first model that had eye tracking. Use the Corsair HS60 headset. Two hundred twenty-nine euros. And the track IR is what one hundred fifty euros. I know it usually runs one hundred fifty dollars but no oh, okay i finally i get you zan go to kyle a on simulation one on truckers mp it's chaos it's always chaos our wavy you'd have to go there like at three anywhere between like three to five o'clock in the morning a.m european time there would probably still be a lot of people there, but it wouldn't be as chaotic as it is at this uh, this hour. But the track IR is two hundred and fifty. That can't be right. Prefer not to have the antler. The little alien antenna. Coca-Cola, six boats. Wow. Bryce, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. Nobody voted for RC Cola. Really? Yeah, I was thinking it should be. Well, the pro you don't need. That pro clip is just crap. It's not any better than using the regular reflective uh, clip. I figured it should be about 150. It's usually 150 dollars. Ah, uh, okay, okay, no worries. Uh, 
Well, dang. If only you guys had an iPhone. Too many Android users in here. No, I'm just kidding. I prefer Android myself. The only reason I'm using the iPhone is because it was given to me. This is the first iPhone I've used since the iPhone 4. You got to choose. Yeah, I've always used Android as well. The Android phones are just not, um, they're not locked down like the iPhones are. It's open to like all, you get all the different options and everything of what you, you can control the phone yourself instead of being limited like the iPhones are. It's struggling, but you refuse. <laughs> the struggle is real. Phone is a phone for you. You had an iPhone until 6S. Then they'll drop support for it all together. Yeah. Have a one plus. I, th I think it's only natural because they're releasing new phones every year now, so it's... There's only going to be so many models of telephones that you can offer support for, to be, to be fair. No, I didn't... No, I'm not on Convoy. Pass 11, you need to go to bed. Yeah, it's 10 past. You're late. You have to hit that snooze button for an extra 10 minutes in the morning. Yeah, I do too. I don't up, I don't upgrade every year. All right, Zan, you take it easy. Uh, if you want to sell it, let me know. Okay. Oh, I think it just disappeared there. Something about selling the four C. Gabber's gonna head to bed as well. Bye bye, Pepsi person. <laughs> All right, both of you guys, y'all take it easy. Thank you very much for stopping in. Thank you very much for the lurks. Thank you for the help with the shout outs and the polls there, Gabber. Uh, if you do want to sell the 4C, let me know on Discord. Something out. All right, all right.
you tomorrow's Friday, finally. Finally, Friday tomorrow. Can't wait. Thought it was Monday. I look more. I look forward more to the weekends simply because Nikki's going to be coming over rather than to having time off work. We'll see what we get into this weekend. We just went past Mets. <laughs> Not going to Moe's favorite city of Brass tonight. At least I don't think. <laughs> Don't know, we'll see where we're going when we get there. France and all their damn toll booths, I swear. guy's gonna do. Man, I was wrecked yesterday whenever I came home from work. I tell you. I didn't know if I was going to make it home or not, to be honest. I think it was, I think I was in bed by 10 o'clock last night. But then I woke up at, I think it was like a quarter till 12 or something like that. I was probably awake for about an hour, a little more than an hour. And then I slept and I went, actually went back to sleep. And then woke up. I don't think I woke up again until the alarm clock went off at 7.30. Someone just quit at your job. Yay, more overtime for Mo. I have to hop off here in a minute. Uh oh. Crisis meeting.
Wait, you'll be the only one. You'll be the only one left at your job? For, for like the department you work in or whatever. gonna run the company single-handedly work 24-7 Pepsi's. <laughs> Doesn't sound fun, though, if you're going to be the only one left. I'm getting urges to get back out and drive again, actually. in his office all day is making me go stir crazy. That's the damn mirrors. if I did get back out and drive it. I don't know if I'd actually stream again or not. Well, it'd have to be a company that would allow it first. Okay, he's gonna wait. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Well, 
What is a class one? too much. <laughs> Hell, I had to take out a loan just to get the, uh, the license to drive ridges. Whatever, 78,000 Swedish crowns would be in, uh, in pounds. thousand pounds is seventy eight thousand Swedish crowns. Is that big of a difference? thousand two hundred and two pounds thank you very much for the hose to motos Looks like it looks like rescue actually uh, went and checked a currency converter or something. He got it down to Zach. Any. All right, Mo, you take it easy. Good luck with work. Work is going to get wrecked. Uh oh. Somebody quit. Some motos is all alone. Well, keep us updated. Let us know what's going on. Let us know if we're not ever going to see you on Twitch anymore. I don't think I actually have have one for hover itself. Uh, what I did is I just set up link tree. I could change the command name to like social or whatever, or socials, if you want, if that would be better. rescue gonna sign up at hover it's real nice i it's it's a lot better than trying to post videos on tiktok tiktok is just a bunch of 
is filled with a bunch of bullshit, really. Cover is is built especially for streamers and clips and stuff. Yeah, I'm still doing World of Trucks. I checked. Um, I checked the uh, the progress I've made so far, and I had eight hundred and seventeen thousand kilometers. So. Trying to work on that last little bit I got left. Just past a hundred thousand. Yeah, see, that's what I mostly always did as well. It was just like regular freight or cargo market, you know, because. Normally I was driving with people that would want to go a little bit faster anyways, but not really into race miles, but you know, people that wanted to go a little bit faster than World of Trucks. I got too close to the wall. Trying to turn my damn wipers off and not watching where I'm going. Uh, no. World trucks will never be on the modded map. Now I gotta turn them back on again just for that. Crap, how much damage did I do now? Oh shit, I'm gonna pay for that. What I get for driving so close to the wall. to just barely catch that damn hitbox. <coughs> no, they don't need to. I can understand why they have it set so low. Uh, they got it set for real world speeds. This is telling me to get over into that lane. I don't think I really need to, though.
This is going to be an exit up here, maybe. Yeah, because 90 is the max you're you're allowed to go in Europe anyways. Even even 80 in some countries that um, as far as truck and trailer goes. It's 90 for rigid. Some countries do allow articulate to do 90, but in other countries is 90 for rigids and 80s and 80 for articulated. Uh, I can understand why they got it limited to 90. And then um, it's set for 65 miles per hour in the States because that's, that's a, a decent average as to what a lot of the companies actually govern their trucks to. Because some states have 55 for trucks and then other states, you can do 80 or 85 in a truck. And then you got a lot of companies that have their trucks governed anywhere from uh, 60 up to 75. It's like my truck, the company I drove for, they, um, they limited their trucks to 70 miles per hour. Uh, mine was limited to 73 miles per hour because, uh, there for a while I did, um, what they call Eagle runs for the United States Postal Service, where you, uh, you pull doubles and triples between terminals with uh, express packages. So we ran, we ran in a team of two. And they gave us those extra three miles per hour just because, just for us to do the Eagle runs. I don't know what kind of difference it made, but. Um, I know we had other drivers that would get would call in and report us because all the Covenant trucks, you know, are supposed to be at 70, but then we had ours at 73, which is enough to where we would eventually catch up to another Covenant if we were not too far away from them and actually get around them. And some of them would actually call in and say, hey, this truck number is like, just passed me they must be messing with their truck go faster I think the eagle runs is what made the guy that I was driving with quit Hello there, fan. How's it going? Welcome in. Well, they would get told that, you know, because the company knew that what type of, you know, loads we were hauling, so. They would get told that we're, we're supposed to have the extra. But even whenever my partner quit driving and I, you know, I continued driving the same truck, they never did turn it back down either too, so.
Uh, all I have basically is just the wheel. That's it. Wheel and pedals. You'll see a lot of people has gotten the wheel, the pedals, the shifter, the button boxes. Uh, uh, shoot, what else? All types of damn iPads with uh, like dash displays and some people get real fancy with it. I just got a wheel, that's about it. Hey, Rescue started following me. Bob, Bob, you talking about Matt? Matt is one of them. Matt is one of them. The computer, obviously. How's it going, Bobo? There's quite a lot of people out there that's got, like, you know, well, Matt, he's, his is, uh, his is a little bit special. Um, doing pretty good. Um, doing pretty good. Oh, crap, I need to be over here. Let's just do an LA exit here. Uh, like Neo Fox. Neo Fox is, you know, has got the wheel and the shifter and the button box and uh, that camping guy also has got similar setup. Uh, yeah, they the camping that camping guy and Neo Fox. They also have. Uh, they have Toby, I believe, instead of Track IR. Um, well, Goofball has also got, I believe, a button box and Toby and steering wheel and shifter. Bootsy. Mm -hmm. James D has got a good setup as well. I don't, James. I don't think you have a head tracker. You got, you got like you got, a, you got a big setup that you, like James uses his. Uh, uh, instead of having like a head tracker, James has got three screens. You got the front view, and then you got the side windows on side screens. Well, James has got four, but he uses three for the game. So. Yeah, but thing is, Matt, is you only use that one screen, though, don't you? As far as the game goes, right? I think I've seen the pictures of your setup. Used to have, okay. Well, you have the game on two screens? How do you have the game on two screens? Because really, if, you, if you're going to use a head tracker, you really only want to have the game on one screen. Because that's they, this what they're designed for, really, is, I think, the maximum of a 27-inch, too. So if you were looking into getting a head tracker, then it would be ideal to only have one screen.
three screens, two computers, one for the stream. I wouldn't mind. I mean, I got a laptop I could easily use as a streaming computer and then use my desktop, you know, just for the games. I should utilize it more than what I do, but I don't. Too lazy to set it up, I guess. So when you do a right turn or need to go back to the right lane, I need to turn my head to the right and check. Ah, uh, okay, okay. He's got it to where... Yeah. So he actually needs to look like... In... Like I'm turning my head with the, the, the head tracker to look at the mirror. He actually needs to do that to look at the other screen. Well thought out. discovered a viewpoint but it's dark I don't want to look at the viewpoints when it's dark what the 3070 can't handle three screens I need to turn here I really need to look into my laptop on that as a streaming computer then, I guess. Uh, Porto is where we're going. I just felt something. I thought I'd. I guess I dropped some cookies. Got some cookie crumbs in. I was eating cookies before the stream. Without it, the screen looks so bad and not sharp with the jagged edges. Looking to upgrade to a 3070. Oh, I'm not. Is it hard to get two PCs set up together to work together? I've never even looked into it either. No 
right, we need to go further down. From a 3070 to a 2080, and the difference is really small. Mm. See, I'm running a 2080 Ti. I doubt. I doubt I'll even. Uh, I haven't planned on upgrading to a three series, but I doubt I'll even do it. But, um, <laughs> well, there's real life experience as well, so that helps. Uh, crap, that's not a lot of miles, but I was gone now. Yeah. Let's see. I actually need to repair the truck. There is no, well, there's a service way over there. Jeez. Okay, let's go to the service. Yeah, there's uh There wasn't really any plans to upgrade to the three thousand anyways, but Hey, that's right. This game only runs on one CPU, doesn't it? Or one core. Well, it is. You gotta, you gotta remember, it is ten years old too. So, go in here and get some fuel. I feel like they could do some like internal overhauls and keep it running for another ten years.
so many features of the engine are tied to the FPS. It's really bad. But yeah, they mean that's what I mean. They would have to basically move the game to another engine. Wonder if they'll be in ETS three. You know what? I wouldn't really want an ETS three unless they overhauled the games as they stand now. You know what I mean? Like if they redid ETS two, say next year. Good evening, Rob. How's it going? Then I would want them to overhaul the game and release it as ETS three with all the current DLC material that we've gotten in ETS two. And then the same with ATS. We've all been doing all right lately. Service. Better been worse. Full of ups and downs. Yeah, I understand. All right, now we're refueled, repaired, and ready to go. got some good news uh because ats is the uh ats is the first iteration of actually tim trucking in the states won 600 bucks in the slot machine today Played it with granny nice how much did you put in the win, though? Hopefully you didn't spend 600 bucks to win 600 bucks. Get one of those uh, 20 bucks. Yeah, I was going to say, it'd be nice to get one of those lucky pulls. Let somebody else sit there and spend 600 bucks on the slot machine and get up and walk away, and then you move in and be like, cha-ching! <laughs> thank you, thank you. You did get lucky, yeah. Alright, let's see. Let me start up Convoy. I don't... I always forget to do that. Uh, Fruities? Okay, who's... The heck is that? You didn't even know you won. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna look and see, uh... The machine didn't make a bunch of noise. Oh, okay. What is this computer in here? I don't remember what graphics card is in it, but... I think it's a 1080. A laptop. The wheel ready. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get some sleep. All right, Anders, thank you very much for coming in with the raid. You've been coming in with the consistent raids. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, just for streaming. Yeah, Boss Matt was on SC yesterday. Coming in a big truck and superstar.
Is pro mods on? No. I'm doing vanilla map because I'm running uh uh world of trucks jobs. Yeah, it's um it's got an eighth eighth generation i7 processor. Um I think 16 gigabytes of memory and a, a 1080 graphics card in it. But but it it would just be used to stream and then the the, the um the uh the desktop will be for actually running the games. Very nice, Rescue. I have to go check them out. I'm going to try changing this damn tag again. I've changed my tags, I don't know how many times, but they keep getting changed back to default. I, I, maybe it's because I keep removing the mods or whatever. Could be why. Yeah, but you don't even need a capture card, do you? Just install OBS and go. Because I used to use that computer to stream whenever I was doing IRL trucking. AF Max. Yeah, there for a while I actually had the laptop in the truck. Um, and then I had everything connected to that. I had the laptop connected to a mobile router and then the GoPro uh, and the telephone connected into the, the laptop as well for the video feeds. Oh, somebody's here. I don't even know what MDI tools are. <sighs> Not more boats. I don't want to do more boats. I just dropped off a damn boat. Here, let's go. Yeah, let's go back up here. Let's go to Zaragoza, I guess. Not very far, but it's been a while since I pulled a tank or two, so. I demand boats. Thought you were the troll commander. <laughs> yeah, get out of this area so I could hit you. <laughs> I don't have damage turned on between players, though. They'll troll you and just ram into you a bunch. Oh, he's got the, um... He's got one of the other paint jobs on there. Let's go this way and fill in the gray. Oh, James is care as well. Yeah, I got the fizzled truck. I need to get better at remembering to start up convoy as soon as I start up the stream. I gotta go back to the garage. I don't got a GPS in this thing. Okay, no worries. Um. I always jump in, start up the game, and then just jump right in and grab a job and go. And it's like, and then people come in afterwards and be like, hey, where's Convoy at? I'm like, uh. Hey, what's that? Is your uh, 
FX really like wobbly? No. I think mine's broken then. What is your uh, suspension stiffness set to? It shouldn't have been wobbly at max, though. Don't they have one for cabin as well? I don't remember. Be fine now. Maybe it was the ver Maybe it was a glitch last time. Picking up where I dropped off at. Hmm. Hello there, fan. How's it going? They turn changed the darn rules of the casino today. Nightmare, and I'm mad about it. Why is that? What they do? gotta save up save up a little at a time huh what's that are you hauling a dlc cargo because i can't pick up the same load but it says unknown job i have no idea hot chemicals it says I do have all the DLCs, so I don't know what is and what isn't. All good to me. Um. We're, we're, oh, I can see where we're going. Never mind. Yeah, you just gotta save up what you can when you can. Start off with the PC. Then, if you have a um, if you have like a uh, Xbox controller laying around the house, um, you know, you could use that instead of a keyboard and mouse. Then it's Xbox controller is a little bit better than using a keyboard until you can save up for a wheel. Um, you know, that's basically what I did. Saved up and bought like, I just bought my first game in PC. I even, um, uh whenever i started streaming i just had a game i had i saved up to buy a real good gaming pc and then i had like a, a cheap headset i didn't even have a webcam uh you know i didn't have any of the the fancy peripherals or anything just the pc and a, a cheap headset nightmare do you know the english name of where we're going 
No idea. The only thing I know it as is Zaragoza. Yeah, it doesn't show up as that on Truckee. I don't know what it is. Oh, it shows up for you, but not for me. What the heck? Is that, oh, that's, is that in Iberia? Yeah, that's in Iberia. Iberia. You still don't have Iberia? <laughs> it's, it's $20 again. I'm not paying $20 for it. <laughs> well, that explains why you couldn't take the job. Okay, you take it. I'll beat you somewhere else. I'll just find a random job. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, we'll we'll pop out of Iberia once we get there. Do you know the mile distance with the ferry included? Yeah, uh, mine says one thousand one hundred thirty-six kilometers with the ferry. I have no idea. James, do you know? <laughs> yeah, well, see, I started out, I just had a gaming PC, a cheap headset, the mic, and and then I bought everything else thereafter as I saved up. You know, I eventually saved up for a webcam. And I could finally, you know, have a webcam running on the stream. And then I actually think I upgraded, saved up for a better headset after the webcam. And I had a, I had a Driving Force GT. Logitech Driving Force GT steering wheel already. But, um, so I was using that as the steering wheel. Uh, I think after upgrading the headset, I actually. Upgraded the wheel to the G29. I can't remember what come after the after the headset and the webcam. Actually, maybe it been it might have been the second monitor. Actually, I think I bought a second monitor after those. But yeah, it was a good wheel, but it made a lot of noise. I don't think the G29 is too bad, but I only have two. I have three. I don't even know what I, I would... Have four. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I would use a third one for, to be honest. Need to see Discord while I'm streaming. Have another. Uh, I usually have another stream up, so I usually have my stream when I'm streaming, and then I'll have like, let's say you're live, I have your stream up, and then I have my game on the main. But if I'm not streaming, it's usually a stream.
It's bad if you compare it to the Thrustmaster. Two of those monitors he uses for the hub. <laughs> I just have OBS open on the second one. It shows everything I need to know, really. Because I can see the chat. I can see the activity feed. Uh, Twitch stats, if you want to see that. And then, uh, of course, all your uh, other stats as far as CP usage and FPS and drop frames and skip frames and such. I guess they got us taking the scenic route to the boat. Oh, the Raptor, how's it going? Yeah, I think my F mix is broken because the cab of the truck is like really wiggly. It looks weird. I am doing good myself. Doing all right. I can't complain. vanilla map doing more of a trucks job so I want to try to get focus on doing the world of trucks jobs again so I can knock out this last little bit that I need uh for the longest journey achievement I guess I was supposed to turn left there <laughs> Jane. Left hand, left hand. I do that every stream. I still refuse to turn those things back on. I still re I still run into the damn invisible walls every stream too. Cause I don't pay it. There's some time during the stream that I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. with all the traffic here. <laughs> Look good from your angle. <laughs> take any damage from it that's a bonus I guess
I think it's going to take us just as long to drive this short stretch to the boat as it's going to take to get to the whole, like the final destination once we get to Spain. What's going on with the AI? We're not moving. Oh yeah, Red Eye, you still hanging out. I don't know if I've seen him say he was gonna go lay down yet or not. I was watching Red Eye do some beam MG beam NG drive this morning. And they're goofing around on that. Where Beam asked me if I was ever gonna think about getting that game, the Beam NG Drive game. I'm canceling this load. I've been looking at it for a while. I just like never actually. I guess I'm afraid to invest into too many games because I. The... I got darn reef mouths because I was on the phone. Oh dang! What what kind of company is uh, Lady Bear running on BTC Hub? We do a mix, but most of it's it's all real miles. Is she running economy and miles? Oh, it don't matter. I don't care as long if we get race miles. She she just wants you to pretty much cancel the load. Oh, uh, okay. I was gonna say, well, economy doesn't matter because they don't have a economy leaderboard. Rocky. We have an enterprise, so that would count on Trucky still. I, uh, I, I told Dow that he needs to make an economy leaderboard as well. Oh, I don't have access to it anymore, so I don't know what the leaderboards are like anymore. It's just for miles. I mean, the company can be run as both, but the leaderboard only is for miles. That's why I was asking when you said you was going to cancel the job, but then I, I forgot that there's no leaderboard for the economy. Yeah, and I stepped out of whatever the other one is because they kept dropping too many loads. So every time you cancel a load, it's going to be a penalty. Yes. Yeah. Watch this, watch this. Bye bye. Oh, that was gray. I should have went that way. Damn it. Uh, 
it's a race. He's got a turn though. <laughs> oh no, did he rake? Rip. Oh no, James. Don't tell me you flipped. No, you can't finish the job. Wah, wah, wah. Go give him a push nightmare. No, oh, he's screwed now. It's world of trucks. Well, I'm guessing he took a world of trucks. Yep. about to find out how much is left after this ferry. I can't believe it's not non-collision here. <laughs> yeah. I don't have player damage turned on though, so... Oh, wait a minute. Why is this? This is actually telling me I need to go again. Let's see. I guess we need to take another boat. Yeah. First we had to take the boat from here to there and now we got to go there. Oh, that's not bad. 262 kilometers in 13 minutes. Hey, Nightmare, what are you doing on March 22nd? What day is that on? Tuesday, I think. Most likely working. Coming to Canada would be the first problem. And just drive over the water. Oh, 
Oh, as soon as I turn my wipers on, it quits raining. I tried to take vacation the week after that because of my stream anniversary, but they denied it. Yeah. We're uh, working on the, uh, the FedEx just bought TNT, which I'm employed under TNT. So that week that I was wanting to take vacation, there is when they're going to start the terminal mergers here in Stockholm. They were like, no, got too much to do. I thought for a change I would actually try and do like a anniversary stream because I had never done one before. But that kind of got crapped off. <laughs> I think this could be a truck that I would try to put a million kilometers on as well. Because I know I definitely would like to do it on a Scania, uh, the 2009R. And the new DAF XG Plus. I think this one would be one I'd enjoy driving enough to do that as do that with as well. Could have already had that done if I'd have just stick to just one truck. tend to hop around. And then whenever I sold, because I did have like 300 AI drivers or something like that, crazy like that. That's how I got so much money and I was just like, I don't need all these AI drivers. I'm never going to get rid of all this money. Whenever I got rid of the drivers, I sold all the trucks because... Uh, and just bought like new trucks that I was gonna drive uh, because then the mileage had AI driven mileage on it and I just wanted I wanted them to just have um, actual mileage that I've driven on
I think, I don't know, I can't remember what my highest one is now. Highest one might actually, should either be the DAF or the Scania. I know the DAF is over 200,000, which is not really a lot, but... I think I've got 4 million kilometers across both games. And I've actually got more in ATS than ETS, and it's a newer game. to see. It's that motionless and white one that I told you about. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to buy the tickets off them and go with my cousin. I need a new graphics card. Can you send me that laptop? I don't know. I think I'm actually going to see, look into that dual PC setup. Take some strain off this uh, desktop. Mm, Lord, he did. I think he did it the hard way. The easiest way to do it is run it through your router network. You have to get one of those weird adapters. Okay. Because I was looking into it before, and I was going to do it that way instead of the capture card way. Awesome. So you would have to have a capture card for the dual setup. NDI everybody's talking about tonight. I don't know what it is. It's uh, wireless through the network. You can run it through uh, to OBS. I just run it through. Your favorite mod?
It's really nice. It's a really nice mod. Oh god, you're driving with ABB and James. Ah. Uh, yeah, this F Max is a really, really solid mod. I like it a lot. I can't believe it's on the Steam Workshop, really. The plugin that you install into OBS and allows to stream over your LAN. Seems like there would be a. How's Bootsy today? Hope everything is all right. the way I've got my sound set up though. Welcome in, welcome in Raiders. Little Crown, thank you very much for the follow. NDI takes care of the sound. Yeah, but I mean, I have my sound split through um, uh, voice meter so that the music is not heard on the uh, Eclipse and the VODs. Welcome in Raiders. Thank you very much for doing the shout out there rescue stream Raiders I've seen you some of the past few streams you've been doing has been with stream Raiders How was your stream I hope it went well I am doing good little crown. How about yourself? Isn't that the one where you can like send in, you like you said, people in chat can also set up like an army or something. And you have battles or whatever. I know there's some streamers that do it like in the background and they'll stream a game and then they'll get like a warning saying that. Um, oh shit, I didn't. Crap. I'm just running my mouth again, not paying attention to where I'm going. Um, oh yeah, that's it. Okay. Hey, you guys grab that link and, uh, drop Miss Small Girl Laura a follow. I'm not going all the way around. Yeah, put your flashers on. Screw that. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. James, or, uh, not James, uh, Blue Jays is actually waiting on us to get here because <laughs> he can't get into Iberia. Actually, get a decent setup this way.
But you're doing a good job of it so far. Lower the price of your DLC and you might be able to get in. Well, you did win some money tonight. Tiger, thank you very much for coming in with a follow. Even if you use voice media, the sound set up on the NDI is pretty... Oh, okay. Be right back. Send in an... Why are you sending an email to SES? Oh, you're going to try to get them to lower the price of the DLC? Probably to ban me permanently. <laughs> This guy named Blue Jays, he keeps calling me Boobsy. No, that's James. I just say ABB all the time. <laughs> uh, good evening, Tiger. How you doing? Welcome in. Is Darius not on not in Discord? I demand. Why? I'm going to message Twitch and tell them to change Bootsy's name to Boobsy. Is Darius not on which Discord? Oh, to keep the Iberia price high so we can't get in? Exactly, Bootsy. He told me that same thing. Well, he just won some money in the slot machine tonight. He's got he can pay for it. Yeah, but it's all in cash. Can I give SCS cash? Yeah, but which Discord? <laughs> Does SCS have a Discord? Vodka man, welcome in. Hello from New York City. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome to Stockholm, Sweden. You think Boopsy being on the SES might be against their terms? I don't know. We need to go somewhere so uh, we can meet up with... Uh, Where you at? Hello, neighbor. I'm on the border. In which city? A1. Bayoni or whatever. The one place we can't uh, see. You could quick travel there. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, I guess Bootsy's like right across the... I can crash my game too. Why did the creek travel make my game crash? Not across the Hudson. Did you crash too, James, or what? Hello there, Jordan. How's it going?
Weird. All right, well, let me start over. I need to use the bathroom anyway, so I guess I could take a five minute break since we're having to restart the game. Oh, uh, you think it could be that? Hmm. Possibly, yeah. Well, let's see where I'm at whenever I get back in. Yes, accept progress. I might actually make another coffee. If it wasn't going to snow like a foot on Saturday, I'd be up there visiting a friend in Journal Square. But a snow isn't a big deal. My God, you live far enough up north where they can handle the snow, don't you? Where am I at? I'm still in Zaragoza. All right, let me just quick travel there before I start the host or host the convoy. Uh, boo. What's going on, Metallicana? How we doing? Uh, here. We got rain today, which is probably whole, it was which is probably freezing as I speak. Jersey likes to think they're in the south sometimes, and they won't prepare. Oh, uh, another day of work, another hanging nightmare. Nice. Well, I hope work is going to take it easy on you. Thank you very much for the host as well, Metallicana. Born in Jersey City, lived in New York, came back to Jersey. <laughs> no one is home. All right, do I need to repair anything? Not really, but we'll repair anyway. All right, let's, uh... Let's park the truck. I'm gonna take a quick break. My bladder is full. Let me in, James. Evening, hello. Evening, syrup guy. All right, uh, still don't drive for Swift though. Start up the convoy. Uh, you've been playing both games since release. Nice. Oh, you let him into where, James? Please share the details unless it's too saucy for uh, Twitch's TOS. All right. Convoy is started. We'll make a group chat. <laughs> Convoy is started, so these guys can pop back in. I'm going to pop out for a few minutes, uh, make a coffee, empty the bladder. Probably too much for Twitch to handle. Yeah, I would say so. You got you to gotta be rated PG here. I think you would be pushing it even with PG. What is it? PG 13 or something. 
I don't know. You could probably do PG-13, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it just has to be G. <laughs> Let's just be safe and put it on G. Uh, yeah, let me, go, let me go take a break so we can get another job and get on the road. You guys enjoy some clips in the meantime, uh, which I need to update. I need to add. I got a lot I need to add. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of seeing these same ones like a thousand times over. But live with it.
I see that my tag is messed up. It's supposed to say F Max, but the damn thing just says FM instead. What's up with that? All right, we got both of them in here. Maybe it's the damn. Uh... Oh shit! I know what it's called in Swedish, but I don't even know what it's called in English. I swear. I've been over here for too long. I mean, it's, it's bad whenever you start forgetting stuff in English and you know what it's called in Swedish instead. Whatever, what did, whatever this little line is called. What is that, what is that called in English? No, no, not the number plate. This. This little... Uh, whatever that line is called. Hyphen, is it? Or however you spell it. Is it really the hyphen? I guess it is. Okay, if you say so. It's called in, uh in Swedish. Hyphen, okay. It was probably that that was messing it up. We'll see. Little line thingy. <laughs> yeah, that's what it would be called down south. That little line thingy. That that line thingy, you know, you put in the middle of everything. What's that? Whatever that is. All right, let's see what happened here. No, it still says F Max. Does it not like the space or something? Or it just it just says FM. The hell, I'm gonna go get on the Dow Monster and say hey. What's James got on his? I can't see. Look at the back plate. No, he's just got a default one, I think. What is the deal? Why won't it do that? All right, let's let's get irritated and try again. Bow will blame Le Yeah, lethal broke it. That's the that's the. Or cheaped out. And they only allowed two letters per plate. Maybe. JD69 for the win. You got a space. What? No, I know what it is. I know what it is. Everything needs to be in capital letters. I totally forgot about that. Could be because, yeah, it could be because of the mod too. We'll find out. Third time's a charm. Oh, yeah. There we go. F max. I don't need the little hyphen, I don't need the little line thingy. A space works fine. All right. Let's see where we can go. Rescue, what do you think? Do they need a, uh, they need an economy leaderboard as well, don't they? Not just for miles.
that was my whole reason for starting the economy VTC was I was under the impression that there was going to be a leaderboard for everything, but he only made a leaderboard for miles. Uh, that's going back into Iberia, so we're not going there. Genoa? You can go to Genoa. Yeah, because then you would have to be conscious of, like, just randomly abandoning jobs or, like, totally wrecking your truck. Because it would, it would, it would knock your company, it would knock a big chunk out of your company's economy. That's a mighty big head you got there. Blue Jays. I guess it's Blue Jays. Yep. You're really enjoying the G29 wheel and shifter? It's nice. I mean, I I don't use a shifter because I can't be asked. Uh, I already know what it's like to drive damn 18 speed. I don't need to do it to have fun. But it's really nice that the option is there and available for people that haven't had the experience. Delete feature? What delete feature? James, you're using hacks. Uh... You know what? I'm in the office full time now. Oh, okay. And it kind of sucks. It's boring. Just sitting at the desk all day, pushing buttons. It still says unknown. This must be a DLC one. This one is a DLC, I know, because it's a Volvo excavator. I'm actually working more hours than what I was working before. I was only working 30 hour weeks before, now I'm on a full time 40 hour. Yeah, it's boring driving a desk all day. I was on my way to work and I was like, I'm gonna look for another truck driving job and quit my job I got now. Well, we just keep making it hard on poor old Blue Jays. I didn't think about this being a DLC. He may be creating a load, though. I just used trucking. All right. It's really only Nikki that comes over on the weekends. Lilu, she's, you know, she's a teenager, so she's got, she's got her friends, her school friends are, are 
are more important, so. I think there's companies everywhere in Europe looking for people. Alright, I think he's ready. Good to go. Yep. What kind of freaking intersection is this we gotta go through? Well, it must be an underpass or something. Oh no, it's an overpass. Okay, I was gonna say. Well, we're gonna go do some acid of course. Cry, man. Baseball might not happen this year. Baseball might not happen, why not? Because they're in the lockout and they haven't come up with a deal yet. They don't need any more money. They need a damn pay cut, if you ask me. Well, you have fun, uh, Ball Ball. Thank you very much for coming in and hanging out. We'll do some Naceto uh, Corsa. It was the main reason why we... Huh? Is that? You should play a set of course tonight. I have it. I, it's uninstalled, but only I didn't play it very much. That was one of those. Oh, this is gonna be awesome! Then you play it once or twice, and then put it down again. Welcome in. Thank you very much for that follow. Ooh, that was close. I did pre order Elden Ring, though. We'll see how that goes. Can't wait. I just hope it plays as good as all these YouTubers says it says it does. I'll have to steal my buddy PS5. You know if it was gonna be cross platform, I don't know if I've seen anything about it. I think it's gonna be on PlayStation 5, and, but I don't think about it. I don't think Xbox. No, but it's supposed to have multiplayer as well. I don't know if it's gonna be cross-platform, though. I don't know if it's gonna be cross-play or not. At least we got and got some finally got some daylight. How's life been treating Hello?
let's see. I do have some vacation coming up. Uh, we can't complain. Finally got Finally got a spare part in your car. Chip shortage. Oh wow. No more twenty four hour streams. Dang, I'm taking my follow back. I think, it would, I think it would be better just to do like 12 at the most because then you at least get some rest and stream again the next day. Yeah, that's true. Because like, even though you are streaming 24 hours, it was like the whole next day I did nothing but sleep and then the day after that I didn't even stream because I felt like crap. I don't know if you guys go by week numbers, but we're like on week number five now, I think it is. And week nine is when I got vacation. I think it's, if I remember right, I think it's the 28th of February on a Monday. I'm not sure. I would have to look at the calendar if somebody doesn't check it. Probably is working all those long shifts and not being able to do anything with your money. He does have a wife, though. They cost a lot of money. Well, I don't think they're married yet. Are they? I don't know. Bootsy, are you married yet? a decent amount when we came back out of the Gulf. I think in total we was on the boat for eight months, I think. Plus it was tax free. Plus you got we had flight deck pay for us that work on the flight deck so we got that was extra on top of pay and then you had uh hazardous duty pay and then you had imminent danger pay yeah my buddy's in the military and he was like stationed at some place and he couldn't leave he made like he saved up like a bunch of money This truck is going to go the same speed as me, I guess. There we go, I took him out.
chip shortage. I'm gonna be faster than you because I have less. I'm only 11 tons. Wonder how they can have a. Wonder how they can have a chip shortage. Change that RG. I don't know. No, they're blaming it on the crypto market, even though the crypto market's not the one to blame anymore. And then all these companies that make the chips say they, they don't have the people, they don't have the money, they don't have blah blah blah. I didn't hear that they were going to change the way Ethereum was mined. Because I don't know if they ever going to follow through with it. But started investing a little bit in the cryptocurrency and tokens um, I guess now the big thing is uh, these well the new big thing is these NFTs creating them if you were the one that were creating them and selling them it wouldn't be too bad because it wouldn't really be money out of your pocket but i'm thinking about buying power supplies in bulk and then just selling them for double the price because i think that's what's going to go up next uh non-fungible tokens is what it stands for because it was ram then it was gpus now something else Gotta have supply for all those GPUs. Yeah, I just don't want to be known as one of those guys, you know? This, I don't like to be known, but I... It's, <laughs> it's basically, uh, from what I understand, basically all it is is you can take, like, like a digital picture, uh, like short video, uh, music. Non-refundable token or something like that? Uh, yeah, non-fungible token. Um, and then it's yeah, like... Whatever. I heard the no meaning of it. Oh, I just took that car out. Um, and then it's like coupled to blockchain. Yeah. I got 17 damage. So people buy it for like cryptocurrency. But the thing is, it seems like what would suck about it is, is I'm not really 100% certain on how they work, but like say you created an NFT and you sold it, but then if the next person like sells it for more, then it's kind of like, it kind of sucks for the person that actually created it. I don't know. I'm not sure how it all works. Well, it was like the housing market for a while. People were buying really cheap houses and selling them for double the prices. Oh, there's always a way to 
without just like you know buying them and then renovating them and selling them like house flipping or, or just buying and reselling direct for like two three hundred thousand and selling them for like half a million oh damn Yeah, it was a crazy thing at one point. I don't know. It's not such a big thing anymore, but it, for a while there, people were complaining about it. It's not a bid token. It's like a picture that people pay money for. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I, I've only just read up on it a little bit. I, it's like, it, it seems like if you're paying like this big money for a digital picture, like anybody would just be able to be like, okay, let's just right click this and save image as. <laughs> but then I guess. Yeah, it's like the Steam stuff. I don't, I, I have one on there from crab game that's worth 41 cents nice my boss was telling me that you could sell CSGO skins for a big money you used to be able to I don't know if there's still a there might be still a market I don't know But they're even they're even developing games now as well, like um, coin games and NFT games. Uh, I guess you play you play the game to earn a specific token or coin. Dying Light was gonna do that, and then people freaked out the heck out. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think somebody was talking about that the other day. If it wasn't you. And then um, I've even seen some games talk about integrating be, NFTs remember, as yeah. well. Well, did you watch CES? They had LG is literally going to make a TV that you could buy NFTs off of. Hey. Cost more than the TV to buy an NFT. Doesn't that all depend on what the creator lists it for? I guess it's, it, from what I understand, it's supposed to work kind of like an auction, but I guess if the price goes up, then. Yeah, I have no clue, man. I don't really pay attention to it. I really only just started looking in it, into it today, to be honest. I went to this um, open sea I guess it's supposed to be like the biggest NFT marketplace right now and I was looking at this one picture it was called uh, like crypto pumps I think yeah the crypto punk one seemed to be popular Logan Paul's got a couple of them yeah and it was like I was looking at one of them and this damn thing was selling for like 40,000 bucks or something I'm just like what the fuck a little bitty little bitty thumbnail 8-bit picture for $40,000 paint and create an 8-bit picture and sell it for $40,000. I have a couple pop figures and I think maybe one day they'll be worth something. Take a picture of them and make it into an NFT.
You just read that and you still don't understand it? I I don't really understand half of what I read today either, but um I did I did end up making an account at OpenSea at this OpenSea webpage. OpenSea Market and I created a wallet on the um, what is it called? Metaverse, I think. Um, I did read through the tutorial about like making an NFT. And there's like supposed to be some sort of um, fee that you have to pay like the first time you list an NFT for sale. I just don't know how much that fee is. I'm a kind of I'm kind of afraid to know how much the fee is if these damn things are selling for like hundreds and thousands of dollars. That would kind of be nice. Just sit here and create little mini digital pictures and sell them as NFTs and make a living. I'm going to look into it a little bit more though. See if I can wrap my head around it and try to understand it a little bit.
Going forward, you can pull the heel. Or the bridge. Either way, it's up. So I don't even see them here in Sweden, but evidently they're around in Europe and Turkey somewhere. Nice truck today, though. I saw an LT. I haven't seen one in person before. Some of these shorter jobs seems like they're taking just as long as that first one I did, and that one was over 2,000 kilometers at least. Daft pulling Scania's. State is middle lane. Looks like they're gonna tell us that's where we need to be at. Friday! Still gotta work, but it's Friday! Here, let me just pause this camera. I don't know why I don't use that function more often. I minutes I mean the 20 to one I think maybe I can do one more after this. It'll take about a half an hour. Won't be something that's god awfully long, but. Unless it's going to breast. Mo likes breast, but I don't know if she's in here anymore. She had to go because it was crisis situation at work. After this load, I'm gonna hop off. I gotta do a couple things. All right, no worries. Oof, that was close. Oh, that was close again. I need to get away from this wall. I'm gonna end up hitting it again. Oh crap! I ain't got my. I did that earlier. I think it was on the first trip when I was carrying a, a sailboat. It sort of sticks out on the side and 
Got a little bit too close to the wall. James, James is down. James is down. Oh lord, what has he done? I do not know. It looked like he tried to glitch through the map. Whoops. I don't think I hit him, but it was enough to make him stop. I don't think James's company is making any money tonight. job again. He didn't flip. My fault, playing with the tablet and driving. Went all over the place and then he went over the guardrail. Oh, word. He said he was playing with the tablet and driving. James, 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 what are we going to do with you? No one knows nothing, okay? <laughs> now, Blue Jays only just announced it for everybody. <laughs> we didn't see a thing. That's why he's been wanting to hang behind me all night, so we can't see what's going on back there. Did you have to cancel the job or was you still on your wheels? You still get penalized though, right? Or does it get rid of that penalty as well? Ah! Ooh, that was close. Yeah, but like if you run an economy, it just removes the job. But you still get deducted the cancellation fee, right? What? We can't be having that.
That's not good. Because that means if there ever was an economy leaderboard, then people would just delete their jobs and then you'd never have anybody losing any money. I guess other than just like purchases for garages and stuff, but... Yeah, but still, you know how some people are. If there's a loophole or a way around the system, then they're going to use it. Exactly. I just can't wait until it's fully released. I want to see how it, how well it does. That's the main thing I'm interested in. Like, what's the reception of it going to be like? little valley towns. Look at these little places that are just there for the scenic scenery or scenic routes or whatever. I would actually like to be able to drive through. Like there would be nice nice little towns to drive through. Alright hello you take it easy. Thank you very much for coming in. Mm, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Yeah, I hope so. Some of the, some of, I've been like, I, I generally tend to like hop around in different streams that I see or using Truckee, um, on the Truckee official Twitch account. Been asking people what they would think about a, something like the VTC hub in, integrated with Truckee and, It's been kind of mixed, really. Um, some people are saying they would like it. Some people are saying that they would probably use it if it could be used together with, you know, without having to leave trucks books and or BT log or whatnot. Or and then other people has just been like, no, I don't want another job tracker. I'm already using the company's job tracker and trucks books or whatnot, but. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's like I guess the biggest plus for it is especially for those that are already using Truckee. You're already gonna have it, so you know why not use that BTC feature as well since you already have it, but There's a lot of active users out there. Yeah, me too. Um, I think I, I've already seen a little bit of confusion with it, though. I think people are, are thinking they have to buy a truck, like the same type of truck they actually are using in the game. I guess we better slow down. some people it's like well what if I drive a Scania and I buy a Scania in the fleet and then I switch over to a DAF and it's just like doesn't matter I think they have a hard time understanding that it's not actually whoa there goes, there goes a Blue Jays. It's not actually mirrored to the type of truck you're driving in the game. It's uh, basically just there for the economic side of the the uh, the feature. Didn't know Blue Jays could fly that fast. I just redid my company this morning I did it this morning I redid mine this morning before I went to work because I was just running an economy uh, whenever we got access to it from the and then I found out that he didn't do um, thank you very much for the alert Blue Jays appreciate you coming in and trucking with us as always he was in a hurry to get out of here. I was got some, he said he had something he had to do, so. But then I realized there was no uh, economy leaderboards. So I was like, well, shoot. So I went in this morning and deleted my company and 
lost that progress that I'd already made, but then I made it into a, an economy slash miles company. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pester Dow and make him. Well, I can't make him do it, but I'm gonna pester him into making an economy leaderboard. <laughs> Driven distance, 900 kilometers. All right, I think I can do one more. We'll do one that uh, probably about a half an hour, I guess. Not La Havre. Go back to Bayonne. No, that one's even, even that one's too far. That one's 500 and we just, we were just down there earlier today. I don't want to go back. Uh, Claremont, 696. East, that one's really short. Uh, didn't we just drive that road to get here? I think we might have Turkey, Calvi, Munich, 78. That one's 400. That's not bad. Could do that. Lawrence. Mm, yeah, let's go uh, at Bologna. Let's do that one. Oh, nice. Trailer's right here next to me. Sweet. <laughs> oh man your wallet is hurting tonight bleeding money James job number 10,302 I wonder how high that is set to uh, count jobs up to Is there no... Yeah, there is steering axles on there, but they don't turn very much. At least not yet. He's hooked up. We're ready to go. Twenty four minutes. Oh, perfect. this truck it sounds like it's got some beef under the hood but like not overly exaggerated I don't even remember how many horsepower it is I think it's only like five or six hundred not a lot Ooh, 
36 tons. Damn. I know, that's 24,000 down the drain right there for a BTC hub. I guess plus damage costs too, I'm not sure. I think it's 12,000. I know it's 12,000 if you cancel a job, but I guess since you I guess since you have you wreck and you can't continue, you have to cancel it, so it should be twelve thousand. made enough money tonight so I could buy my first uh, first truck again so I went in and bought the generic mod one since that's what I'm driving tonight so I at least got I at least got rid of the rent cost for now as long as I drive this truck But I could always drive this truck until I got enough to buy another one. Either the... Probably would buy the DAF again. That's what I had before. I can understand why a lot of people stay away from the externals. I guess one is the speed. And looking at the way that like some of these other streamers that play truck sim and how they drive, I guess the second reason would probably be the crashing. Uh, if you screw up, then you can't continue with it. Never get tired of watching the sunsets on this game. Might not be the best sunsets of all the games I've got, but man, you'll see some amazing ones though. you a, a, a thousand horsepower motor in it you only put a 500 in it
concrete beams. How much are those weigh? One tons. Damn. shit out of that mirror now that I got rain on the windows on top of it. The mirror is small enough as it is on the right hand side but then you got rain mixed in. Can't see nothing. you gonna slow down. speed limit dropped down to 70 but i think the damn guy in front of me dropped down to 50 actually oh wait I, I can stay right here switched it up on me it was on the other side of the last toll booth oh, rain's finished Yeah, I took a peek out the window when I went and take a break. Um, exactly what I figured it was going to be, as they said it was going to get dropped below freezing. Um, the road outside looked like an ice hockey rink out there, because it was. Uh, we had rain earlier this evening. It was raining when I got home. It was only. Uh, Two degrees Celsius then whenever it was raining so but now it's dropped below freezing so all that rain that was on the roads froze into a sheet of ice I think this transition from like whenever we transition from fall to winter and winter to spring is probably worse than just having the snow that dumps a foot you know snow on us because the snow is like they're out cleaning it up and plowing all night if it if they need to they just scrape it all up and Everybody keeps on trucking like nothing's happening. 
but whenever it starts and whenever you start getting this transition where it gets warm it fluctuates between just above freezing to, to freezing or below then it just makes more of a mess really because can't really plow up ice like you can snow Then you get some of these times where it'll do like this. It'll rain and it'll get cold and freeze and continue, but the continue as snow. So the snow lays on top of the ice. And then uh, you get these big dummies that get out on the road and they're like, oh, it's just snow. But you got ice under the snow, so it's just like, doop. Bye bye. Two AI just crashed. <laughs> well, I hope you got around and didn't ruin your job this time. No, you're still behind me, so you're good. weird building is that? Is that like a train station or something? It was in Australia just the other day, now that I think about it, but I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I, think, I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday. <clears throat> Raided into Trucky Mitch whenever we got done uh, rocking over here. I didn't get to see a lot of it. I was at work. I did have it on my, I didn't have it going on my telephone, but I was mostly just listening. I didn't actually see what was going on. Sometimes they actually stream long enough to where I can just get home and maybe catch like the last 10 minutes or something, but. Today they were. I was. Well, I had it going in the car too because um, I'm supposed to quit at eight at six thirty, and they get started at six o'clock Central European. That is. They were laughing and talking something about the AI. That must have been what you were, what you're talking about.
just merge right into the side of him. They've done that to me sometimes as well. here Bologna it's been a long time since I've had any Bologna fried bologna sandwich used to have those a lot when I was a kid you could eat it just with regular just like you don't have to fry you can just slap it on a piece of bread and we like it fried. Cheese and mayonnaise. Almost what Rescue was having earlier tonight. to be James but it sounded like it was like right here in the truck not this I just hit the horn on accident didn't know it I could have hit the button myself I don't know no I don't have a horn on this one That's right, I needed to put an air horn on this. Hey, I wouldn't move. Oh, uh, okay. Gabber was telling me you could flash your lights at them and they would move. Like if you were running, if you were riding up on behind them and they like were running slow you could flash your lights at them and they would speed up and drive off i've never tried it but he's just doing it one day kept changing lanes yeah some of them get confused in there right forward oh crap Ooh. Success job, nice. 
Oh, oh, oh. Let's not go too. There we go. Whoop, whoop. Ah. I think we're still good. We're off to the right, but we're still good. Ford trucks. Oh, I think I'm just going to leave it parked right here where I'm at, too. I bet you bet I can park it. 975 out of a thousand. What? Some sort of achievement on Steam. Let James get parked and drop his load off. Oh, it looks like he's finished. Just in time, too, because of my bladder saying I gotta take a break. Again. I've been trying to drink a lot more. Um, I don't normally drink a whole lot. I think that might be part of the factors as to why tired and got headaches often. I don't know. I've been trying to drink more and see if I can notice any difference. All right. I am going to go ahead and shut this down. All right, it is Thursday, so that means there's not going to be anything until Monday evening. Not unless, uh, not unless me and Nikki do some sort of Fortnite stream. Um, he tends to prefer YouTube, but he has been he has been enjoying um, jumping in and gaming with uh, Stratus B and his crew. Um, me and me and Stratus have been talking about trying to do a uh, a father son squad. Me and Stratus and our two sons playing on the same squad together. Um, we just got to work out a Saturday or a Sunday when we're we're synced up and all of us are available. Uh, so there might be that. I don't know if we'll get it. We haven't really talked too much about it this week, but uh, we'll see. Um, what else we got going on? Me and Mo's got some um, something cooking up for both of our communities. I think both communities will enjoy it. Uh, you send me a DM. All right. Um, Hopefully I can get with Mo and get that planned and we can get that planned and possibly kick that off next week. Some of you already know we were talking about it in stream, I think Tuesday night. Uh, what else? Trucky stream. Hopefully last Sunday I was supposed to do a trucky stream after I dropped Nikki off at his mother's, but, um, I just had a bad headache and I was real tired. Uh, so there's supposed to be a trucky stream on the trucky official channel this Sunday. Um, I'm looking at getting started at 10 PM central European. Cause I don't know if I'll get back in time to get started at nine. Uh, like I normally do when I get off from work because I, I don't take him, um, We actually leave my place at like a quarter to seven and it takes me like, I don't know, 30, 35 minutes to drive to his mother's place. And then I drop him off then I got to drive back. So I'm looking at 10, 10 PM central European. Hopefully to, I'm doing all right. So I can 
um, knock out a couple hours on the on the um, the uh, Truckee official channel Sunday evening. Oh, you're still here. How is how is everything going? What's the update? on your job are you working alone now are you carrying the company on your shoulders and next tuesday or yeah tuesday next week um uh, i'm going to see a hearing specialist in the morning uh but then i don't have to go into work afterwards so we'll see what I do on Tuesday. I might can actually get in. Um, you want to quit? Um, might can actually get in a, a little bit longer stream um, Tuesday. Uh, uh, what else? Oh yeah, I was going to look at the calendar. Uh, let's see what dates. Yeah, February, uh, February the 28th, uh, which is a Monday, and then March 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, I am on vacation. Not going anywhere, I just, I, I got five days vacation saved up, or five days too much, because um, they, they don't let us save more than five days from the following year. Um, so I've got 10 days vacation available, but I have to take, it's mandatory to take five before April. So I have to take five days or I, I lose them and I don't want to lose them. So no stream in Las Vegas. No, I don't have, I don't have the money to go to Las Vegas. So February the 28th, March 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, I'll be available for uh, some longer streams and uh, hopefully get a chance to pop into some other, other streams and um, do some gaming with some other people as well. You have to take a mandatory day next Thursday. Uh... Let's see what else is coming up. Mm -mm -mm. Which actually that would be nice because I think Elden Ring is released the week before I go on vacation. So yeah, that's another thing. I pre-ordered Elden Ring, which releases or unlocks since I've already got it. I think it's February twenty second. Let me look. February 24th is when it's supposed to unlock. Uh, so you'll definitely see some streams for Elden Ring once it unlocks. See how I get along with that. I guess that's about it. We're going to go look for somebody to raid. We'll see who's... Lurking about on Twitch today. And Lorky's doing your old truck. The only one that's doing your old truck. It's unusual for him, student driver, learning how to drive. What? Oh, he's on the BRB screen. Wait, I hear him talking. Student driver learning how to drive backwards. What? You have to take a mandatory day. What do you have to take a mandatory day for? Come on, Lorky, what are you doing? 
Well, hopefully he'll be back to his stream by the time we get ready to... Well, I mean, you have five days of toil. The redemption is there for a reason. You lose your... Oh, uh, okay. It's kind of like same as with me. If I don't take those days off, then I'm just going to lose them. Hey there, Tom. We're just about to raid out, though, unfortunately. Just waiting on Mo to tell me who to raid. Refund? Why? Ah, uh, you just came home. No, I mean, it's just, just as long as people don't, as long as I don't say, okay, we're going to raid this person and then start the raid and then somebody comes in with a guy to raid afterwards, then it's kind of like box bath. What is that? What is Fox Bath doing? Five Nights at Freddy's. My kids like playing this game. I don't think I've ever seen this Five Nights at Freddy's before, though. Must be new. Welcome to my nightmare. I think you're going to like it, part one. All right. He's nice. He's been out sick. Ah, uh, okay. He's been gone for a while. His nightmare in his stream title. All right, let's go raid uh, Fox Bath. As requested by Modos. Let me just get set up here. Raiding, raiding. There we go. Uh, I still haven't updated my damn emote strings. There you go, guys. Copy those emotes there. Um, I'll at least do this one here. Uh, if you're not a sub, there's another emote string there you can do for raiding. Um, hopefully I can get some stuff done this weekend other than streaming. That's, I guess that's the good thing about, um, Nikki not, or Nikki coming over is that I don't usually stream. So, um, that gives me time. If we're not playing something together then that gives me a little bit of time to sit here and and get some stuff updated or whatnot while he's playing with his friends sometimes he plays online with his friends but all right let me go and paste those in there come on let me paste okay got it okay got it oh, i had to say that i accept the rules all right, I'm good to go. Very nice, James. Very nice. Um, thank you all very much for coming out. Um, yeah, if I don't see, if I don't do anything over the weekend, then hopefully I'll see you on Monday. And uh, you guys want to pop into the trucky stream on Sunday evening? Then uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be glad to see you there. Um. Yeah. Y'all have a great weekend. And uh, we'll go raid as soon as the credits are done. Awesome, very nice. 100% rate attendance. Thank you very much, everybody. All these terrific people that are scrolling up the screen here. Thank you, each and every one of you. Even the guys that are just in here lurking, watching the stream, it's also a very, well, very much appreciated. All right, here we go. Goodbye, y'all.